Hello divers, this is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips and techniques video. So one of the things that you are unlikely to see on this channel is a video of how to do something that many other people have put videos on and uh, there are probably many other videos out there uh, that can teach you how to uh, install a one-piece webbing harness on uh, a plate so uh, I'm going to um, not be talking about that today but what I'm going to be talking about is if you have one of these one-piece webbing harness uh, setups a uh, DIR a do-it-right uh, setup what you can do uh, in case you feel like you would like to make this harness adjustable. So there's a couple of ways that you could do that and that's what we'll be discussing today. One of the techniques you can use to make your one piece harness adjustable is the use of a slider. So this particular uh, item is made by Mari's, uh, but there are many other companies that uh, make something similar. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, this uh, piece of hardware uh, in, able to, uh, in order to make your harness uh, slide. So a regular DIR harness uh, would be weaved uh, like this. And uh, some people will actually put a tri-glide on the back here to prevent it from sliding but in our case what we like to do uh, for whatever reason uh, to make our harness uh, adjustable is we would need to take out our piece of webbing here and what we would need to do is to install the slider in one of these two slots, probably uh, the most uh, external slot. And so, in order to make this adjustable, all you would need to do is to weave your webbing through the piece of hardware. And what it would enable you to do is to easily slide this in and out uh, with your waist belt in order to get uh, the kind of fit that you want. Okay, so this is uh, one approach. Uh, there are a couple of videos on this. Uh, this is one approach that you could use a slider of this type in order to make the harness adjustable. The second way of making your one piece harness adjustable is a little bit more involved. Uh, in order to do this, uh, you will need to have a two inch buckle commonly available on the internet for about five dollars and uh, this particular buckle that you need has uh, one side here with nothing on it and then it has an adjustment mechanism here on the other side so what you're going to need to do uh, is to cut the shoulder strap here uh, below the shoulder d-ring and you're going to need to put the female part of the buckle onto the shoulder strap. So in order to do this you'll need to uh, weave this through I'm going to move my buckle up a little bit out of the way here temporarily And you'll need to stick it through here and then back again through the tri glide. If you'd like, 
if you had uh, additional cut additional uh, space on this uh, you could actually weave this through a second time through the shoulder D-ring uh, and that would pro provide some additional security. Alright, so that is the top part. So the bottom part, uh, the male end, uh, is over here. And uh, this uh, part uh, presents a couple of uh, additional consideration points. And one is, is that the shoulder strap uh, that you have uh, might be a very heavy material uh, like a waist belt or a weight belt type uh, belt and then what's going to happen is uh, you are not going to be able to adjust it through the nail part of the buckle because it's going to be uh, too stiff so what you need to do is uh, experiment with your webbing to see if that's the case uh, if it is uh, too thick to do that then you're going to have to uh, find another uh, type of webbing to do that. So I have a piece of webbing here that will work for this and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave this through Okay. So if it were attached, it would look something like this. And then I would have my part of the belt that would go through the plate here. All right, so if I was going to set this part up, I would go through here in a conventional manner. And then I would come back out for the waist part here. And uh, I would be able to operate my plate like this, but what could potentially happen is that the waist belt here uh, could inadvertently slip a little bit in and out of the plate, which uh, defeats the purpose of having the adjustable buckle here. So what you can do to avoid that is you can use a tri-glide, but the way we're going to use the tri-glide is we're going to use it on the front of the plate rather than the back of the plate. Okay, so here's your tri-glide. We're going to go in like this. This again, remember, is the waist strap part. Make it a little bit bigger. Make sure that's not bound in correctly. Have it come through and then go through the tri-glide. So, if you have your system set up like this, there is no way that uh, your belt will be able to slip. So, if you have different accessories like a weight pouch, a small weight pouch, or even a larger uh, dumpable pouch, uh, and you have it affixed on here, you will not need to worry about this getting out of position once you have it. Okay? so. This is uh, the procedure for uh, altering your modifying your one-piece harness uh, to an adjustable strap. So the important things you need to have are the buckle, a few tri-glides here, cut your strap, have another piece of strap that is uh, flexible enough to be able to be pulled through here, and then lastly a tri-glide here to prevent the webbing from slipping through. Oh. Uh, a third thing that might, you might want to consider is the fact that if you have softer webbing like this, uh, that it may not be satisfactory for uh, holding on uh, your waist belt. So another modification that could be done here is instead of taking this piece and wrapping it through, you could take a stiffer piece of nylon webbing like that designed for weight belts uh, in order to um, uh, keep your belt more rigid and then you could use that through this tri-glide. So in that case you would actually have three potential or potentially two different types of webbing uh, on, your, uh, on your harness.
Here is a completely modified harness system. I have the uh, buckle here on the top part. I also have a uh, crotch strap. I know a lot of DIR people will uh, have a uh, get all excited about that. Uh, here is the bottom part with the adjustable uh, male part. And then here's uh, some detail uh, regarding the bottom here. We have the same tri-glide as on the example, which is fed through here twice. And uh, here is also the D-ring. And uh, so this is a simple trim pouch. Uh, just happened to be uh, Amari's one on here. And uh, it is trapped between the D-ring and the tri-glide here, so it cannot shift very, uh, very much. This could, of course, be made a little bit tighter if uh, you needed to. Okay, so then on the other side, we have the same buckle here, and again we have it going through the uh, tri-glide up at the top to secure it. Down at the bottom we have the same tri-glide so the belt cannot slip, and then we have another uh, small weight pouch on here, and then the D-ring. So this is what a completed harness would look like. So that's our Not Just Another Harness video. Feel free to email us uh, with questions uh, about how to do this process. And um, that's it for today.